Welcome to this nature documentary. <laughs> Just kidding. Welcome to my new Urbex video. This time I'm visiting the church of Agnes Dai and the foster home pretty much next to it. The history of this building is so long I don't even know where to begin. It was made around 1910 by a few nuns. After that it has expanded over the years to become a foster home and a care center for elderly people. Around 2002 the nuns moved away and the building got abandoned. And around that time a fire pretty much destroyed a large portion of it. Because of this fire the building is now in heavy disrepair and a lot of places are actually very unstable. There is a chance of collapsing floors left and right. First we entered in the most well-preserved bit, the church. It, uh, I say well-preserved as in you could probably still renovate this place. Uh, most of the interior is gone in this building and has been heavily damaged. But uh, the church part at least looks salvageable if they would want to keep it. You can clearly see where the altar once was. And you even have some of the beautiful windows still intact. Sadly, some people thought it was funny to smash some of the faces in the windows, but I guess humans aren't that funny. I mean, look at me. I'm not funny at all. damage the fire has made to this building is enormous. I was hoping this burned down bit would actually, you know, go somewhere, but sadly it didn't go anywhere and I almost got stuck here. Yes. Well, not really stuck, I didn't know a way out. Later I found out that the room I peeked in on this uh, huge mess, well, that had another door hidden away that would lead to the other portion of the building that I was trying to reach at this point.
Here you can see the door that I was talking about. <laughs> I didn't see it at the moment, I was walking through here, but that one leads to the main building. I was trying to reach the kitchen area, but the floors are too unstable here. Everything collapsed already. I did not want to uh, hurt my head. Also, it's way too close to the farm next door. About that, later on in this video, I actually thought that the farmer saw me because he was walking around the building. I could see him in the window, so I was very scared and careful, and I almost blew the entire mission off, so to speak. Having said that, uh, I never heard anyone here getting uh, in trouble with the owners of the farm next doors. But then again, this location is very old, so I could imagine that he wasn't too keen on uh, people constantly going to the abandoned building next to him. He probably wasn't too keen on the fact that the building is in a collapsing state, but well... <laughs> I, I don't know what... Uh, that's his problem. Um, here I am walking around the corridors and the bedrooms where once all the people were housed of the foster care or the actual orphanage, depending on the time period. You can see some of the beds are still there. Uh, they, most of the uh, rooms are empty or mostly empty it out. You can see some classes of people who apparently had parties in here when it was abandoned. Um, and in some cases the floors plainly just collapsed and are completely gone. I had to say for the age this building has, uh, even in the time of it being abandoned and the damage it has because of the fire, it was really in a decent state. I seriously expected it was going to be a lot more dangerous, so to speak.
I love the weird architecture of this building. It really shows that this uh, orphanage part wasn't originally planned. They just improvised on the spot. You can see it, these odd curves and turns and that the floor goes up and down to compensate the high difference on the ground. It's uh, so funny to see and so weird. It really also feels a lot cheaper than like the main church. Like uh, cheaper materials, uh, less stable as you can see, so apparently that also uh, accommodates the cheapness. Fun fact, uh, this window was blown open by the wind. Another fun fact, the moment I went into this room and got back, the window was closed again. Haunted? Coincidence? Or the wind? I think it's just the wind, but I could be mistaken. What do you guys think?
So here I am exiting the building. I must say for the age uh, and the time it stood up, it um, isn't half as bad as I expected. I really uh, doubt that I could go to the second floor, apparently I could just walk these. I have to say the view here is beautiful, it's almost, dare I say, as beautiful or even more beautiful than the building itself where it stands upon. Just look at this view. I think it's a nice place to end up, uh, yeah. Anyway guys, please like the video if you did. And if you want to see more, please let me know down below.